All right, guys, we got ourselves a bunch of actual two by fours here that we milled up ourselves on our sawmill. And they've been sitting around drying for a while. And in our last video, we cut a bunch, most of this stack in our last video. And today we did 18 more. What this is for is for framing forms in our root cellar. In case you're new here, we plan on pouring eight inch thick concrete walls. As we were cutting this last amount here, we realized that we we're gonna be short a few boards because we increased the size of our root cellar just a little bit. I think we made it a, a foot or so longer and wider, but that's okay. We'll just buy the handful that we need from the store. We don't want to have to wait for wood to dry if we were to sawmill some more, although I'd rather do it that way. So anyway, we're ready to start framing up some walls. We got a whole stack of these ready. We still got a bunch left over there. Those are for the bottom plate and top plates of the walls. And we already have some OSB that is on the trailer. And with that, we're ready to frame up our forms and get them lowered down into the root cellar. Push the nail gun in. Got to push it against the board. Pull it. Okay, pull the trigger. Oh! Did that pop out? Nope. You did. Did you get dirt in your eye? Yeah. Uh, you, that's why you're supposed to wear safety glasses. You're fired. <laughs> in that case, I'm fired too. Right? <laughs> of course. Why would you be fired? <laughs> I don't know. It, how could I get fired? Am I the boss? No. Who's the boss? Me. Ah, you're right. Would you ever fire me? No. All the way over. The spacing on the studs, I have them at uh, 12 inches on center. So they're pretty close. We wanted to do that because uh, we're, we're pouring eight inch walls. So if you can imagine the pressure that's gonna put on the forms and wanna push them out and bow and do all sorts of things. So we're trying to be extra careful. And instead of going 24 or even 16 on center, we're gonna do 12 inches on center. It is a chilly new morning. It's frosty and cold this morning, so we're all bundled up, but we are hoping to get the rest of these form walls built today. We got Jacob's finishing up our second one, so we got six more to go. We'll see if we can get them all done today. Go. Ready? Pull the trigger. Can you see the trigger? Yep. Ready? Go. Come on. Go.
like we've got a rescue mission going on. The boys got our sea boats for Christmas. And our lake is partially frozen, mostly frozen. And Ethan put it out there and rode straight onto the ice. <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> You're funny. That's a pretty stack of forms. It does look good. Man. We got these as square as we could so that they go all go together real nice. I'm hoping we don't have any weird gaps or anything. Right. Should be good. That looks good. So we told you guys earlier we had to so we ended up having to add three two by fours uh, to these last two from the store so they're not two inch by four inch but it was so weird going to the store and picking them up they felt so small <laughs> after been after dealing with uh, the ones we milled it just it, it felt like they were smaller than what i was used to it was weird right anyway it only took we only we were only short three so now we gotta take them over to the hole yeah we, let's uh load them up in this trailer here Let me let me get it picked up and then I'll tilt it if you get your hand under there. Okay. Thank you. Oh man. Okay. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Good luck. <laughs> what? Let's just pull it all the way that way to the end. You know what I mean? So I don't have to carry it. Okay. And then. Is it Jump in there, you on me, so. Oh gosh. This is yeah, you're not, I don't think so. <laughs> like, I'm struggling with that. I know, I, I got an idea. Oh. Uh, hold on. And slide the bottom in. And we get up up here. Mm -hmm. Ride the rail, I guess. Should we just back up the trailer? Yes, we should. Uh, yeah. Back me up.
stuff over there. Okay, Logan's corner. There we go. What's that corner? Alright, goodbye. Thanks, Logan. Alright. We did it! <laughs> Yay! Go team! Them are heavy. Yeah, they are heavy. Good thing the back toe gets the low arm down as well. Oh, you were going to do that. Oh. There it is. That's the end. This is the inside. Yep. Does it feel small? No, it feels good, but if you think shelving wise, then it would. Let's see, if you come down right here. Yeah. That's going to feel crowded, but that's okay. It's just for food. Yep. <laughs> it's not the hangout place. <laughs> Except for when I'm hiding from the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Our rebar spacing. I'll have to put all my good snacks down here so Eli doesn't know. Yeah. Now that we have our forms all built, we had our string line set up and dropped the plumb bob down so we could make our marks down on the slab. And we ran their chalk line so we know where to set those forms. So we're bringing those forms over now and we're going to get them set down in the hole. Okay guys, we are sealing up these um, concrete forms so that we don't have any issues taking them off. So this is, this is just a water sealer. So they shouldn't uh, absorb much from the cement mix. Got the old multi-tool out because uh, this bottom plate got milled a little on the thick side. It is four and a quarter inches. So I already notched out that side for the wall to fit right in there. And now I got to do the same to this side so that this fourth wall can fit right in. We don't do everything perfect, do we? <laughs> we try though. This barely make it. <laughs> Fourth wall. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm 
just uh, hammering these out a little bit. Okay. Just so it. We got a little extra um, wiggle room. Yeah, I mean it's, it's gonna be real tight. Here's the inside. Not uh, gigantic, but I think it's pretty roomy. It's just a root cellar, right? It's going to hold the food. In case you guys don't remember, or if you don't know, we, we are going to have a pantry right above this as well. So root cellar is for uh, things like... Uh, what do you call them? <laughs> Potatoes, carrots, canned stuff. I mean, we could put we could put a lot of stuff down here because the temperature will is supposed to stay nice and low and consistent throughout the year. This went really well. Um, we used. I'm gonna start climbing out of here. We used uh, for these walls. We used a. Ratchet strap that was rated for over 300 or 3,000 pounds and we used a tow strap And who knows what that was rated for a, a lot And they worked out great Okay, we're ready to hammer drill some uh, holes for some Tapcon screws all the way around in here to help hold the, the fork down and to keep the walls from wanting to be pushed inward as the cement is poured. So we got a lot of holes to drill.
are moving on to rebar. We've got it all cut and bent to shape. So we're just putting it around this inner form of walls before we put the outer walls up. So we've, we're doing a grid pattern of two foot by two foot and just going to make our way around. Yep. Next step of the process. Get them all, buddy. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, we're going at yep, right there. Mom, hey, baby. We need some more, or you have one we have extra? One left. No, we need some more. Okay, we'll make some more. Can you figure out how many more we need? Okay, let me know. Three, six, nine, twelve. You're right, but you have one, so mine's eleven. One. We need eleven more. I will get eleven more. Okay. That's it for the rebar. That's a lot of rebar. It looks so good though. It's like a like building a cage for something. Or if you ask Eli, it's a jail. <laughs> it's a jail. Pretty cool though. Yep. Almost looks like we know what we're doing, eh? Yeah. 